I'm going to go through two examples of multiplying matrices. So this is pretty simple, two, two by two uh, matrices multiplied together. This is just a practice. So remember we go row by column. So row and column. So our first entry is going to be 1 times i plus 1 times 0. So it's going to be i plus 0. And I'll simplify at the very end. I'll write it out explicitly, the two terms, to, to help you practice this. The second column will be 1 times 0 and then 1 times negative i. So this is 0 minus i. We then go to the second row, 1 times i, 1 times 0. So again, i plus 0. And then the second column, 1 times 0, 1 times negative i. So again, 0, negative i. So when we simplify this down, this becomes i, negative i, i, negative i. Now, if you wanted to, we could actually factor out a term here, and we could make this be i times, oops, I've run out of room. Um, we could make this be i times 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. So we have a 2 by 2 matrix, and we can pull out a, a term of i. So now the second case looks a little bit different. And again, we're going to go row times column. So that's 1 times square root of negative 2 plus 0 times this. And I'm going to just leave these terms. Then we have row times column, 1 times 1, 0, negative 1. Second row, we have 0 times uh, square root of 2, 1 times 1 over square root of 2. We then go row times column, so 0 times 1, 1 times negative 1. And now if you notice, what has happened here is that in fact our result um, matrix, this 2 by 2, looks identical to this matrix here. And the reason for that is that this matrix is something special called the identity matrix. And you'll see it written as kind of this um, I, or you can write it as a, a 1 that has this special symbol. And the idea is that whenever you have the identity matrix, that that's a way of expressing the idea of 1, but in a matrix formula, formalism. And so that's 1 along the diagonals and 0 everywhere else. And so this is a way of just kind of communicating that it, it goes on. So this can be um, a 2 by 2, a 3 by 3, 4 by 4, so on. It should be square. And this is going to be something that we use a lot in quantum mechanics, so please be comfortable uh, with using it. And I really encourage you to use this notation where you're either writing kind of this, this special 1 or this special i to capture that this is the identity matrix.